the Northern Bahamas? You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. This Whit Monday holiday, the Old Freetown Heritage and Cultural Association will host the 6th Annual Heritage and Fire Hat Festival on the grounds of Gold Rock Beach, Freetown, that's in East End. It promises to be a day of fun, competitions and musical entertainment. It also gives locals and visitors the opportunity to view the display of Bahamian vintage items like the washboard to wash, the lantern for lighting and the goose iron. Fun activities will include a watermelon eating competition competition, onion peeling competition, mango eating competition, and yes, the washboard competition. As the Labor Day holiday winds down, Bahamians are now preparing for another significant holiday with Monday. Here on Grand Bahama, the Cecil Thompson Grand Bahama United March will take place at 10 o'clock on Monday morning, beginning at the Grand Bahama Cricket Club. Former educator Neville Brennan commended the March coordinator and president of Reach Out Youth Ministries, Dudley Said, for the positive work he is doing in the community. In our small country, we are very much disturbed about, an, about the amount of violence that's going on, the abuse, particularly to our young people. Um, Nassau and Freeport has had a share murders, crime, and violence generally. So the march is really as, as, as making a point that we are, hey, we are tired of it and we are standing up and we are asking for the support of all the groups in Grand Bahama. We know the music groups will be involved. We um, expect the churches to send out their groups and the schools generally, the alumni in particular from several of the schools. Organizers say Grand Bahamians can look forward to several fun activities on Taino Beach following the march. Nathaniel Heald of Bahama Rock says they will be participating in a number of competitions. It's good that when um, uh, corporate citizens can support an event like this. But uh, put all the seriousness aside, um, I can hear someone to stand my bail because we can beat the policeman up. <laughs> Big Daddy Grill out. You see, done gone already. So, you know, we got this in the bag. The Domino, Domino Tournament. Bomber guys, we got this. We got even a bar garment tournament. You know, come down, have some fun, and it's going to be a good day. Besides, we got the floating trophy. Come on down, see if you can get it. Some 17 Grand Bahama 6th graders lauded for their outstanding achievements. Gumbay Land Skating Ring partnering with the Bahamas Primary School Student of the Year Foundation to award this year's Grand Bahama nominees with summer passes. They say it was important to highlight these students for their hard work and ensure that they enjoy their summer before transitioning to high school. As we know the hard work and effort that went into preparing for the competition along with their teachers and being able to balance their academics, their extracurricular activities, civic duties, and religious responsibilities, we wanted them to know how much we appreciate their efforts. Taking on this challenge and now going into high school, which is a new chapter in their lives, we want to encourage them to continue to use what they would have learned at the foundation of their educational experience to continue to soar and strive for excellence as they go on to high school. The Bahamas Primary School Students of the Year Foundation says they're thankful to Gumby Land for their kind gesture. The Bahamas Primary School Student of the Year Foundation, on behalf of its chairman, president, and CEO, board of directors, and committee members, would like to thank the management and staff of, Gum of Gumby Land Entertainment Park for their vision to, honor, uh, to recognize and honor the Student of the Year nominees. There were 123 nominees for 2019, 71 from the Family Islands, 17 from Grand Bahama. Don't go away, Jay Philippe is up next with a check on sports.